G'day and welcome to Duck Solid Gaming and a well it's a partial mod review. We're reviewing a newly added feature, a relatively newly added feature to Courseplay. This is running the developer version Courseplay 5.2 and I'd like to send a cheerio and a thank you to Bass Costa over on the Broad Acres Map Facebook page. He was the one that basically highlighted the fact that there is this new combi or the new convoy mode in the latest version of the developer course play. It's not available in the 5.1 version that's currently on the mod hub. So be aware of that. But uh, it certainly makes doing multiple unit course play um, very easy. Now the reason for this is I've started playing Broad Acres, which is a 16 times map. So many of the, uh, the fields are going to be using multiple uh, machines, whether it be five, six, plows, harvesters, whatever else. So previously we've had to manually, or with the use of the tool on the um, the course play page or the GitHub page, uh, run the little tool to work out your total width, your offsets and all that sort of stuff, and you had to plug, plug them in basically manually. Well now we don't have to do that. Course play itself will generate all that sort of stuff for us. So we're going to dive straight in get all that done and have a look at how simple it is now to do. It really is very, very simple. Um, so we're going to use three class Serions here towing a JD um, plow, a butterfly plow. So it doesn't matter how many units you have, the, the basic um, steps are exactly the same. Okay, so our first unit will set up, we bring up our course play. So the first thing you're going to do is you're going to make sure you're in the right mode, as we know. So for this, we're doing uh, field work. So we're going to select our field work. If you're doing fertilizing seeding, you use fertilizers and seeding, obviously, all that sort of stuff. So we're going to make sure we've got that selected. We then go over and select our course generation. We're going to plug in our course, which is field three. 15.2 meters is our working width, which is calculated automatically by course play. Our starting location. So we're going to start in the northwest. So let's have a look at the map just so we can see. So here we are up here. We're going to start in the northwest. Okay. We are going to head our starting direction being south because we want to do a long runs up and down instead of doing shorter runs left and right, east and west. Uh, return to the first point. Uh, don't really care about that so much. We're going to put two header rows in. Headland corners. This is another new option. So headland corners. You've now got. Uh, no, why can't I change that? There was an option with headland corners being either turned or 90 degrees or something like that, but for some reason I haven't got that. I've probably done something wrong. That's all good. Okay, multiple tools. This is part of the new, the new section. So multiple tools down here, you can have how many tools you've got set in your course play that you're generating. Now this is before you generate the course. So remember, you have to do this before you generate it. So if I'm only going to run the one plow, I'll set it to one and it sets my course based on a 15.2 meter width. I've in this case got three, so it's automatically going to set my course to 45.6 meters. Okay, which takes into consideration the fact that we're going to have three units running at 15.2 meters to do our total width of each run down the field. Okay, very simplistic, very easy. Once you've done that, that's all you have to do at this point. Generate our course. And there we go, so our course has been generated up here. What we'll now do is we'll just save the course. So we'll call it F3 Convoy Test. Because you need to save it to be able to pick it up on the other units. You've got to pull that up or to copy it across. So we're just going to save it, makes it nice and easy. Um, it doesn't seem to be too big of files at the moment anyway, so we're, we're all good. Okay. So the next step we're going to do before we get this guy started is we come across here into our driving settings. Now, you'll see here lane offset. So this is where previously we had to set our offset to our number of meters, both left or right. Okay. Now it's quite simple. So it's automatically worked out we've got three offsets. So we're going to have one that's running the center line, one to the left and one to the right. So all we've got here is it gives us a choice of one left, one right and center, which is our three positions. So for instance, I'm going to run this guy in the center. So I set him to center and that's all we have to do. So if I just move him along now, by the way, I've got all in-game sounds turned off at the moment just for um, some sanity. Okay, I set that up. I'm going to now go 
nearest waypoint. Now you'll notice I'm past the start of the course. Now, reason being is a lot of times in course play previously, if you try and do it before the start of the course, you've you've missed some of the parts of the start. And if you're using, um, sorry, if you're using destructive crops, which we're not in this instance, uh, you you end up doing circles and destroying party crop and all that sort of stuff. So, just for sake of of uh, simplicity and making sure it works virtually all the time, is I do a little bit of ploughing or harvesting around the start point first, and then I come in a little bit further from the start point to get started. So what we're going to do is we're going to make sure that this guy's going to go centre. So at the moment, I'm offset to the right, so he should kick straight in here to the centre and go down here and leave a path to the left and a path to the right going down this first field. So we'll have a quick look and then we'll set up the other units. So going over here, we're at nearest waypoint drive course. Now let's cross our fingers and hope he goes off and does what he's supposed to do. There he goes, lining himself up. He'll come round and do his turn. And that looks as though it's going to basically be pretty right to me. Lines up, off he goes. And he's set, okay? So what we're now going to do is we'll stop him there for now. So we'll just stop him there. We'll now go over to our second unit here and we'll set him up. So, bring up our course play, go to the load, we're going to load F3 convoy test, load it up, okay? So the course is there ready to go, so have a look. Yep, that's our course. Oh, actually no, we've got two courses, see there you go. So we've got to clear our courses, we've done that. They had a previous course in testing. Load up our F3 convoy test, that's what we want. So we've only got this field that we're actually in use. Everything's set there, we don't have to worry about changing that. Multiple tools are set to three. We come in here and we want to go left. So he's going to be one left. Now, when you've got multiple tractors and multiple combines, I would suggest on a piece of paper, list them all down. Like, so for instance, if you've got seven units, you'll have three, two, and one left. You'll have one and three, two, and one right. So that's for six, sorry. Um, or if you have seven, you'll have a center one as well. So just write them all down. So three L, two L, one L, center, or C, uh, one L, two L, three L. And as you've assigned each unit to a lane offset, just tick it off to make sure you're not doubling up. Um, I mean, you may not need to do it. You may be confident in the fact you've, you've ticked all the right boxes, but uh, I just do it just to be sure. All right, so we're now going to position this guy in. So he's going to go to the left. So we're going a little bit further here. We'll turn off the follow-up if you don't need him to follow. Head over in here, nearest waypoint, drive course, and let's see what he does. So while we're doing that, we'll go over here to this guy bring him across and we'll clear his course F3 convoy test let's do it nice and quick in there that's what we want right there nearest waypoint drive course we'll get back over here to this guy and we'll set him off with drive course and then what we should see, now I haven't done the asymmetric lane change, so they are going to swap over. The lane change is going to be a little bit dirty, but there you go. So what we've got now is a very quick fashion without any real calculations. We've got our three combines, or sorry, our three tractors in this instance running our plough and set on a three lane course play. Okay. So I hope that was nice and simple for you. It's just a quick overview of that, that functionality. To get this version of course play, you will need to go to the website on the, and the link that's down below in the comments. Um, but yeah, enjoy it. And, and for those that are using broad acres and any of the big maps, it's definitely a, uh, a must have to make it a lot simpler to do your, uh, your multiple units. But um, anyway, that's a, that's a very quick tutorial on course play. Hope you enjoyed it if you did like the video please press the like button if you're not a subscriber to our channel then please press the subscribe button and apart from that i'm duck solid duck solid gaming and i hope you have a great day in farming simulator thanks very much bye